are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. You agree? You have to find a way of thinking the thought that gives you relief before the things around you can change. You have to begin telling a new story. You have to tell the story the way you want it to be before the story of your life will actualize around the story the way you want it to be. Do you know that everything that you are living, everything that you or anyone else that you are seeing are living, everything that is being lived by anyone is in response to the story that they are telling, period. That's all. The story they're telling, the way they think, the way they feel, their moods and attitudes. You are your point of attraction. And if you want something to shift in the story and the way it manifests, you've got to start telling the story in a way that shifts your emotion as you tell it. Which means you've got to leave getting response from others out of the equation and look only for the response you get from your alignment with who you are. We know it's entertaining to talk about things that evoke responses from others. Sometimes you want their sympathy. Sometimes you want their understanding. Sometimes you just want them to be on your wavelength with you so that they'll understand what you understand. But you have to leave what everybody else thinks out of the equation and only put into the equation what you think, the vibration that you're offering and the vibration of the source within you. So we want you to begin to try to hear the story that the source within you tells the source within you tells the story you are worthy beyond description and when you say things aren't going well there's a clash in the stories source says all is well for you and you say no it's not source says all is well for you and you say what world are you living in all is well all is well well-being abounds well not over here where I am there is abundance that is pervasive and is flowing to you. There is a outrageous abundance that has been summoned by you and held by the source within you and tended by the source within you. You have a vibrational escrow of enormous financial abundance. And you say, well, then where's my stuff? And we say, listen to the story you're telling. You've got to start telling the story. You, have to, you want to start telling the story. I am abundant in nature and well-being is always coming to me. And I am often understood by the people that I'm interacting with. And I'm loving this life that I'm living. And it's fun to expand and grow. And I love the contrast of my environment, which helps me to continue to identify new things that I want. And often, in fact, usually I'm not a vibrational match to everything that I want, but I can feel the difference and I know how to lean in the direction of what I want. And my life just gets better and better. And I'm surrounded by people that are like me learning about life. And it's really fun to be in this physical body and expand. And I get the sense of who I am and often, when I'm really not paying attention, I can feel the source within me just sort of wrapping those non-physical arms all around me and through me. I can get that non-physical hug, so to speak, from the inside out. Sometimes I can just feel the well-being of my being. Sometimes I get glimpses of what's in my vibrational escrow and I'm really enjoying how my life is beginning to unfold. And I'm noticing that the people around me are more and more enjoying the, their life also. And, and I'm feeling a freedom from detaching myself from what they're thinking or from what they're wanting from me. Me. I'm doing such a good job of living my life. I'm starting to realize the reason that I came forth into this physical experience. In other words, as you start practicing the story that resonates with who you really are, you'll start offering the vibration of that. And you see, you cannot become a vibrational match to who you really are and what's in your vibrational escrow without everything that matches that actualizing around you. And as you begin to feel the predominant vibration of abundance abundance must seek its level with you in other words just like water flows downstream abundance flows to someone who's in vibrational alignment with abundance as you begin, as you say things like I have to work so hard for what comes to me then you have to work so hard for what comes to you as you begin to say things are coming easier and easier and I'm beginning to understand how the universe flows and I'm beginning to understand the vibrational world and I'm beginning to leverage my time more by prepaving more things I'm becoming more of a mental being I'm not reacting to so many things I'm lining up more I'm sensitive to the energy I'm feeling strong negative emotions sometimes really rub things rub me the wrong way but that's a 
good thing because that means something's out of sync with what I'm wanting. I'm getting more intuitive about people. I can feel when they're leveling with me. I can feel when they're not. I can feel when it's to my advantage to interact with them. I can feel when it isn't. In other words, I'm becoming more intuitive. I'm getting some, my senses are out there in advance. I'm doing a better job of prepaving. Tell that story. Tell the story of how well things are going. People like me. I'm doing well everywhere I go. Good ideas flow to me constantly. I always have a good time. I have fun wherever I am. There's cooperation around me all the time. New ideas are flowing to me constantly. I never get enough of this physical experience. I love living life. I'm feeling so vital and alive. I love the people that are surrounding me. I love the variety of people. I can see the diversity of the talents and the people that are around me. And I realize what a wonderful team that we are working together. I'm appreciating the people of this planet more and more. I love the cooperative nature that we are all about. I love knowing that we are all casting our vibrational votes. I love knowing that there is no injustice. I love knowing that everybody gets exactly what they are offering vibrationally. I love knowing that I'm getting exactly what I'm offering vibrationally. I love knowing that I don't have to hold anybody else responsible for the way my life's unfolding. I love getting into this appreciative mode because the better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets. I'm eager about this life experience. Experience. I want everybody to have the fun that I'm having in this life experience. I'm not bothered by those who aren't having fun because I know the potential for fun is there for all of them. I love being the clear example that I am. I love offering my vibration deliberately and I love watching all of the universal factors lining things up. I love how circumstances and events come into alignment to give me evidence, post-manifestational evidence of how I'm doing vibrationally. I love knowing that it doesn't matter what's going on right now because I can keep telling a new story. I love knowing that it it doesn't even matter how good my story is right now. It might not even be close to the best story that I can tell. But I love knowing that I can continue to tell a better and better story. And I love knowing that the cooperative universe will keep matching my better and better story. I love knowing that I have the option to focus. I love knowing that I am the center of my universe. I love knowing that it's a vibrational universe. I love knowing that law of attraction is utterly consistent and will never bring me anything that's not a vibrational match. I love knowing that everything that I get is because of something that I've been saying chronically. I love knowing that I can morph the story, I can tell a different story, and I love the cooperating universe that will continue to give me evidence that I've changed the story that I'm telling. I love knowing that I never get it wrong and that I can't get it done, and that no matter where I'm standing, there will always be new data that's coming. I love all of the people that are surrounding me that are playing the same game that I'm playing. I love knowing that they're not in charge of me, that they can't control me, and that I'm not in charge of them, and that I can't control them. I love knowing that we are all here as vibrational entities. We are all here as extensions of source energy and that we are all much more in harmony with each other than we are not in harmony with each other. I love knowing that every particle of the universe has that which is wanted and that which is not wanted. I love knowing that every person within I, whom I interact, there are things that I would like about them and things that I don't like about them, and that it's up to me to fixate on the part of them that I want more in my life experience. And I love knowing how cooperative many of them will be. I love knowing that even the most tuned in, tapped in, turned on person, I can extract from them something less than tuned in, tapped in, turned on, because I am a powerful creator. I I'll get from everybody whatever it is that I focus upon. I am responsible for my experience. I get the complete credit for everything that's happening to me. I love the stability of this time-space reality, but I love even more the stability of the eternal nature that is me. I love my expansion. I love where I am. I love where I'm going. I love where I've been. That's the story you want to tell. some part of it.